where we have probably the least janky brew uh, you're likely to see me play here. Uh, called Jundex, I'm calling Jund Obnixilis the Adversary. This deck is brought to you by Obnixilis the Adversary, which I think is a card that's underplayed in Standard. It got a lot of hype as it came out, um, then nobody played it, and for the most part, it's been on the sidelines. But this deck um, has performed really well for me. In fact, I considered not jank brewing it because it's not that janky. You got four full copies of Shieldred, four copies of Graveyard Trespasser, just intended to get the, the reanimate decks or the control decks off of their targets. Um, You've got four full copies of Obnixilis the Adversary. We want to be using that Casualty X ability pretty often. More often than not, we're going to be ticking up rather than creating devil tokens unless we really need to gain some life. We just want to put pressure on opponents early. This is a pretty aggressive themed deck. When we are sacrificing Casualty to Obnixilis, we want to be doing it first and foremost with Tenacious Underdog. If you have... All three of these two drops, Tenacious Underdog, Riveteer's Requisitioner, and Mosswood Dread Knight, on turn two, you almost always want to play Tenacious Underdog first. Not only does it have to toughness, which Riveteer's Requisitioner does not, sometimes that matters when you want to push through some damage. It's also the most advantageous card to sacrifice on turn three. You might argue that Mosswood Dread Knight is a better card to sacrifice overall. You can be right about that, but, but what it forces you to do is use the Sorcery ability on turn three. Four, which you may not want to do. Um, you want to do that on your terms. So Tenacious Underdog, best card to sacrifice to have next to list if you can play it on turn two. Ribbiteer's Requisitioner, I've been playing in some other decks. I think it's sneakily better than people assume it is. It has that ability to blitz, draw you a card, get a treasure token, lightning bolt something, uh, either your opponent or a planeswalker, or remove a creature, something like that. We uh, have a removal suite, which is two go for the throat, two bitter triumph, two tear asunder, Great for enchantments uh, and unusual permits. Four full copies of Cut Down. We just see so much red and so much mono white in best of one standard that we're going all in on Cut Down. Um, and then a, a, a two of Okiba Reckoner Raid. This could be something else. But it's been fun and good against these aggressive decks, you know, just gaining two and uh, draining two often is a difference maker against a, a deck like red, so I don't hate it. Uh, the mana base is strange, and perhaps could be improved. We're not playing any man lands, we're not playing any basics, we're not playing any legendary lands. All we want is the colors of mana that we need early on in the game, and that's it. So that's what this mana base is intended to do. It's definitely a trade-off. That's your deck tech. Nothing too too janky going on here. But this deck, um, I think, is now 19 and 6 since I've been playing it, uh, which is not bad. And again, not that janky. So let's get into some gameplay. Hopefully it will perform well in stream. Not the greatest, but we'll keep this. We got lands and spells, we got all of our colors, and we can cast every card in our hand except for Graveyard Trespasser, which we would be able to cast off of the token, uh, treasure token we'd get. Cavern of Souls of Human. This does make me want to play Sulphur Springs, holding up cut down. That's like the last card we wanted to see. <laughs> Not surprised, but last card we want to see. Uh, so the question is, do I hold up cut down in case they play? No, we're just gonna we're gonna get out there. If they play the chick who begins with A, bash with Thalia, it'll be a little annoying. Because Thalia will remain on the battlefield and win combat against Tenacious Underdog. Adeline, I think. 
what I don't want to see. There you go, Adeline. I'm calling them, calling the shots here. So if we had held up cut down, we could have removed Thalia. Therefore, there's no attack. Um, and then we could have actually drawn a cut down and potentially cut down Adeline the following turn. We didn't get there. But now we can't remove them both, which is pretty annoying. And if they have another Adeline, we're going to have to eat that. So... We're going to go for it anyway. Then we're going to pay three life. I hate, I hate doing that when I do kind of care about my life total right now. But... I guess there's an argument to be made that I should have waited for their combat step. So if they have another copy of Adeline, that's probably a misplay. If they had another copy of Adeline, that would be a bit of a wasted turn, because they had three damage us. One in the inner sky. Resolute reinforcements, that's annoying. And the Thalia is just wrecking us right now. Can't cast two spells in a turn because everything we want to do Balls, center sorcery. We're going to let that happen. Hoping we can catch up on damage here with Graveyard Trespass, assuming we ever get to a point where we can cast it. I'm going to remove that guy now. Or attempts to. Son of a gun. Well. Three cards in hand. A bunch of things to be eaten. Might have another Thalia. Uh, so I think we're just going to run out. Graveyard Trespasser. Don't feel like we're the aggressor here. There are lots of lords that their color choice gives them access to. Plus maybe more resolute reinforcements. Yeah, so got to keep a tenacious underdog back block. Hopefully we don't get double lorded or something. So we're probably just going to... All attacks. Um, and I feel like it's a trap on uh, Thalia with Graveyard Trespasser. So I'm inclined to just block Soldier. These are soldiers. We'll block the. Wandering Emperor? I mean, like, they can't even cast Wandering Emperor, so I guess. Yeah, okay, I got Joe. 
It's a two for one. Not the most annoying thing in the world. Wish I had blocked Thalia in the card. At least we finally have another land. So you can play a guy. Hold up cut down. Costs us life to do. But again, we're not aggressing. Like they've drawn the exile dude. Poodle Cathar. Yep. Didn't realize it was nighttime. They did realize it was nighttime. Cast another spell here. Gosh. Son of a gun. I'm gonna flip on my turn. Um in this case we're gonna shoot Thalia. It'll like to do it. May have a means by which to sort of blow them out here. They're gonna flip and get something. <sighs> and we have to pay <laughs> to pay life for every black spell cast here. Oh. So, Army wants to get rid of Warden of the Inner Sky and try to figure out how to deal with Brutal Cathar later. So if they don't draw something off the top, they're going to end up having a first striker. Well, we'll we'll wait and see. We are giving them man, we gotta pay life for this too. So I think the play is try to blow some people up. If they bash as they might, I can blow up Brutal Cathar. Or I'll eat a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> Not all that exciting. May just play the long game and tilt old warden, in which case I might go for warden. I'm gonna let them do this. They get the scry anyway. And maybe they bash now. And in bashing, like I might want to blow up the brutal Cathar. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's hope they don't have anything. <laughs> Double block. Here we go. These pain lands are painful. Out of here. Rootman officer. That's kind of annoying. Alright. Gain drain. Getting some life back off these Okibas. Uh, we've got to do this now. Tenacious underdog. Ugh. Another have. We, we, we can already draw a card off of this one if we want to. If we're going to end up doing some trading off of a, a lord or something, I think I'd rather it. I don't know. Actually, I'd rather it be here. Tenacious underdog, we could choose when to do it. Whereas Dread Knight, if we want to keep it around, we have to do it now. So, still not looking that great. The top of their deck is nothing. For a while, that would be helpful. They've been drawing pretty well. Thalia has been annoying, but that's a good place for us to be. We can just keep them from drawing a Brutal Cathar for our turn.
might be in decent shape. Don't brutal Cathar us. A Wilkie. They have Trample? Okay, so we're gonna go here. Uh, you know, happily just... Guys, that's just a haste. Um, yeah, snap block all the dudes. Don't care about my board at all. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. So... First strike, everybody else is just... Other children, about it. Oh, that did not look good for quite a while, but we got there. One and oh. Back to the pain lands, the play. Not the worst hand in the world, um, but it, it's gonna be painful. We're gonna try this. I did have control there. Uh, okay, and I was really hoping it for not that. Okay, so we're getting a land. Um, <clears throat> do we hold up, cut down, and or better triumph? We just tear asunder this thing. <laughs> uh, or do we slam Tenacious Under? Tearing asunder this thing doesn't. I don't hate it. Uh, in fact, we're gonna we're gonna do that. So we can cut that guy down and play a Tenacious Underdog, or we can cut that guy down and hold up Bitter Triumph, but I think we're just going to, I think we're going to play Underdog, hold up Cut Down. I really want to get value off of Graveyard Trespasser as soon as it enters the battlefield, if it's just one gain drain. There's a Swift Spear. Probably gonna block the Swift Spear. Frenzy. Um, in this case, I'm gonna cut down Felden. And that's fine, like, I like eating the Witch, whatever this Witch Stalker's Frenzy. Hopefully we're gonna draw a land here. And play Shieldred. And hopefully that was the only Witch Stalker Frenzy they had access to. <laughs> There aren't... Well, we'll take it. Probably means they didn't have much. Why Shieldred's about the best card in Standard. By itself, anyway. Power level. Two and oh, again, this is the least janky brew that we're likely to play on jank brews. Got a lot of good cards here. Not anything anyone else is playing, but just a lot of good cards here, so it's hard to call it janky. So we're gonna we're gonna play Tenacious Underdog and hope we hit. Of Nixilis next turn. That would be the hits. Sure why they did that. Uh I don't know if we're supposed to race this. I think this is um the deck popularized by 
Ash Lizzle. Uh, Requisitioner is not going to do us a ton on this board, so I might just want it to die and draw me something better. Um, so that's where we're going with this. Let me get a little race on. Treasure token, okay, Tenacious Underdog. Good magic card, this schooner thing. Got two of them. Now we need some removal, because we can't attack through that, thanks to this ginger brute left back. I feel like I might do something I almost never do, which is draw a card off of Dread Knight before casting it as a creature. I, I see many people do that, but I almost never do it. <clears throat> I could consider playing, we have a lot of lands here, so. We could play the Dread Knight. And a Graveyard Trespasser. The only really down, the real downside to doing it this way uh, is or basically like not playing the Red Whispers version first. You gotta wait to, to be able to draw cards unless someone's gonna exile your Red Knight. Don't see that being terribly likely. I think that the thing that is more likely to happen here is they've got that flash creature, uh, some sort of merfolk that prevents the trigger from resolving. Okay, so we're definitely double blocking one. Ooh, where are we? Let's see, let's see what they they hit. High glass siren. Five glass. Okay, not keeping this five glass. Uh, so I was thinking about this is a food token. Food token is a little. Um, hmm. Not gonna block. What else do they have here? It's pretty good. Especially since they just dumped something you can eat. And I feel like something else is likely to die here. So let's go to town. Good. Uh, I can do that. I'll play this first in case they have counter spell. Back a tough cookie too. Won't be the best thing in the world, but I mean, I'll, I'll happily take the two for one disruption protocol. That's unfortunate. Now I wish I'd played this first. That is not the counter spell I was playing around. I'll, I'll take take it, but. We do have a decent board. It'd be nice to have something else in hand than a Sulphur Springs. My hope is they fire up these schooners and, I don't know, try bashing with them or something? Surge Engine. I love Surge Engine. A lot of my jank brew. Play Surge Engine. Okay. Only fired up one, so they have another one. Sentinel in the Nameless City will be annoying for us, but they put it in the yard. Um, I'm somewhat inclined to block here. This guy that gain some life. They can gain some life off of this food token. Uh, but I'm going to hope there's something on top of my deck. That can attack, and I'm not going to block. Because if we draw Riveteer's Requisitioner and they just don't have anything here, okay, that is not what we're hoping for. 
Um, but I think we go for the glory, like, regardless. Oof. Not. The Ginger Brute can become unblockable. Surge Engine can become insane. Uh, can't win here, which is a problem. We can definitely die on the swing back. Like, pretty easily we can die on the swing back. So, so we're going to bash, bash with Mosswood Dread Knight. Probably it gets eaten by a schooner. <laughs> we are doing a great job drawing lands today. I think we're dead. Daxies off of Surge Engine, Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute can become unblockable. Surge Engine can become unblockable. So all our opponent has to do is realize that. Okay, interestingly, now I don't think we're dead. Because they need mana for that. I don't think Surge Engine's been activated yet. Yeah, this dude still has Defender. Okay. Graveyard Trespasser. I mean, I feel like we just have to, to go all out here. Even though our whole board gets... I mean, because all, all they have to do is tap two lands and they're done. Um... They've got to realize it now. Plus, they've got the vine stalk. Yeah, we're just gonna see how lucky. We get. Well, I, I, there's a card they play like Agatha's Exile the Artifact or something. Okay, and they didn't fire up subterranean schooners. We're blocking. So they're going to have to let these some of these dudes get eaten. I still think we're just dead, but... Hmm. Maybe they don't realize they have Vine Stock? Uh... Well, if they draw that thing and they can get, if I go to nine, um, I think I'm dead anyway, but I think there's a chance I would actually die from nine on C. Um, this guy comes a five four. This thing says, okay, so that wouldn't change actually. Uh, so it's just a question of this dude, so, and that dude has trample. Um, I lose one life, but I would end up with two more protection from Trample. So we're going to do it. Oh, Bitter Triumph is fucking hilarious. Sorry for the language. I don't know if I'm allowed to say things like that. But, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a game changer. I don't think this thing has Hexproof to Trample. They can just draw a land. We've done a great job of drawing. Can't be blocked because it can't be blocked. Maybe they'll go for the activation. That would be awesome. Yeah, because I don't think it does anything. Yeah, still a six five. But just overwrite abilities. Feel a little bit bad for our opponent. I feel like maybe they don't. I think they just misplayed a little bit. Well, we'll take it. We're three and zero. 
This tends to happen more in a uh, platinum. Definitely had us. Okay, this and this would be pretty darn good on the play. We're gonna try it. Hmm, that was a good draw. Allows us to curve out much better. So we're gonna play. Okiba Reckoner Raid. Run out of Riveteer's Requisitioner. Hope it doesn't get removed. Just so we can sack it up next, next turn after bashing pretty well. <laughs> I don't know how valuable the bash will be, but. This is why in the deck tech I talk about, uh, um, I'm a little bit tempted to just bash into the night air. That'd be really greedy, though. So we're going to do a thing we don't often do here, and minus both of them. We want to gum up the board. If they end up playing a uh, board, which is likely, it'll get worse. But if they happen to not have a lord, <clears throat> or uh, exile your dude human, We turn around decently next turn. I feel like they've got to have a lot of options here. Yeah, so Lord number one. It's not the greatest Lord, because I don't think it affects this dude, so... Eat that guy. You can actually ping off the Copper Code Vanguard if they bash. Unless they play yet another Copper Coat Vanguard, and that'll be tough. Double Copper Coat Vanguard is really hard because like all their creatures, except for the token. But we we probably just hope they do anything other than playing one ones or whatever is fine. That guy sucks. It's like hard to deal with, but they're gonna play another Knight Errant of Ghosts. This could just get out of hand for us. it with pretty hard. Oh, I love Sanguine Evangelist. Hmm. We could, we could double block it uh, and then get rid of the Copper Code Vanguard. Um, or we could single block it and ping off this dude. I really want to get rid of Copper Code Vanguard. We could... We could Gang up, block, um, kill the Knight Errant and the Copper Code Vanguard, but that just leaves them with such a board compared to our nothing. So I think I'm just going to block here and ping off the little guy. Hmm. So upstairs we go.
drains aren't the worst. Probably just run out both of these. We can bash with Nazumi. I don't know how much we could race. I don't have any... Gosh, they just have... They're going to have so much stuff to gum up the board. I feel like a blocker is preferable. I don't think it gets the benefit of, of Copper Goat card. Higher. Sanguine Evangelist is pretty sick. Battle Cry is an effect I haven't seen in. But if you've been watching Jank Brews, the very first episode of Jank Brews plays two copies of Sanguine Evangelist in a Hoarding Broodlord deck. Go back to a week ago and check it out. It's on YouTube. I think that deck went like four and two. I didn't play seven games that day. Six, I think. It did pretty well, and it was fun. And janky. I have no idea how I pushed through here. Okay, they're going for me. What in the world is going on here? Four, five, six, seven. I think you just die, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, ooh, I don't know if they're actually dead. It could, it'd be really close though, because I have another up, Nixless. Um, so I, I think I'm just gonna not block. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even doing math here. I'm at ten. Uh, yeah, just. Dome. Dumping stuff? Okay. Dome. Um, but I'm gonna get two more shots, so I'm like 99% sure we got them here, because... Uh, Sanguine Evangelist. Oh, like two of them, too. Yeah. Yeah, um, and we'll do... This, 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 I'll dump here. You don't stand with me. You're my enemy. Uh, I think it's this one here. <laughs> it's hard for me to tell which is which, but uh, I think it's the one with, yeah, it had, it had a, like an active thing going on. We'll take it. 4 and 0. That was far and away the most difficult. And I still think our opponent misplayed. I, I don't know what I would have done if I were them. This is why Obnixilis is good. It's difficult to decide against. Okay, odd to have no red and nothing that needs red. I uh, feel like it's a trap. <laughs> uh, but we're going to try it. Okay. So we're going to play Okiba. Restless Prairie. We're probably playing against the... Actually... Enchantment deck? Okay, there's a Naturalist. Goodbye. Hate that guy. Although, man, if they're on... Well, we can tear asunder that thing. Um, 
they're on Iganjo, them getting this this dude back is seriously annoying. Oh uh, well, they're not gonna be able to get back. I forgot I had graveyard trespasser. This is why we played these folks. Goodbye, Juka Naturalist. Now if we just top deck a land, we're in about as good a spot as I could hope. Another Juka Naturalist. There's the land. Uh, part of me wants just bitter triumph that dude and eat him. Pulling up Terra Sunder. Play Shield Red next turn. But that way, if they have Ossification, I have a way to get rid of Ossification. So I think we're just going to bash. It will be kind of annoying if they uh, get like a whole bunch of value off of Naturalist. But right now, they can't even Ossify unless they play uh, Basic Land. On. I feel like they're already dead. Yeah, they're gonna die here. I'll, I'll pay three life. Do not care about my life total. Man. Bash, gonna need to eat that guy, which I think puts him to exactsies when they draw. Have the Terra Sunder for Hallowed Haunting anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if we get to 6-0, we may uh, just call it for stream. The reason I started playing this deck today was that I wanted to be brewing in Diamond, and normally I just brew Jank. Uh, and my Jank so far this season has a win rate of like 60%, which is good. Uh, but play you know, 10 games a day on average at 60%. It takes you a while to get to Diamond. Uh, and it takes you forever to get to Mythic. And, and usually once I get to Diamond, my Jank Brew's uh, win rate drops off. So, lucky if I'm at like 55%. Hmm, okay, no green, but nothing that needs it. Uh, on the play, this is not the worst hand. Let's try it. I think this would be decent against Red. Banco? What you got, what you got Banco? Um, either Rafine or Domain. Hmm. Dog first. Two toughness. Not as much utility. Okay. Feel like we're playing Rafine. Part of me wants to just Requisitioner as a bolt. Keep drawing. Don't really know what I'm up against, though. I could be a, like up against some like flash nonsense, uh, and in that case, I might want to hold up the cut down. Like I would cut down the little two flyer flash dude. Um, uh, okay. we could also be just playing against control, in which case, like this could be an awful play. Uh, if they play a white source and the like exile all two mana permanence or something like that, make disappear. Cool. Maybe we are. I, I think Rafine also plays Make Disappear. Wedding announcement. All right. Hmm. Against Wedding Announcement, I'm a little bit inclined to just cut down. This sort of serves as a lightning bolt to the face because I can bash with Underdog. I don't love it, but uh, I don't really know what we're playing against yet. Okay, Moss with Dread Knight's kind of cool. And this is one of those circumstances where I may draw the card first. Let's do it. Hmm. But if we don't go to 6 now be a little sad because even if I play the seventh game, I won't be able to make it. I mean, we have to win. We have to win here, is what I'm saying. 
uh, which kind of inclines me to slam out this tenacious underdog and bash with everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry for the language. Don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh, man. Two wedding announcements. On land. We'll take that. Oh no, I just realized I only have one source. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'm holding up and it's painful source. I guess I'm holding up go for the throw. That was a little bit of a misplay for me though. I, I don't know really what I should be doing in this case regardless. Maybe I should have drawn a card there. Enic is annoying. Uh I'm probably gonna take all that. They're gonna draw cards here. Oh, it's an end step? Okay, good, man. I, I thought I really made a mistake there. I didn't want to be able to replay that. Okay. And if it was nighttime, I think we'd win. Assuming they're not going to counter spells. we got to be careful here. Let's see what's in, what's in yards. So we've got Denik. We've got Re Requisitioner. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast these before I attack. I feel like they probably have Wandering Emperor. Make disappear, losing it. Klein. All right. So I got the other one of these. Do I draw and play or do I play? I think I'm just going to play a graveyard trust. I want to eat this deck. And hopefully they don't have another. Have any man lands? No man lands. Two cards in hand. I'm bashing. Or I'm gonna. I'm racing here. Kind of annoying in that. Oh, Rafine is, Rafine is tough. Ugh. Ugh. This could be it. We could go to five and one. Sad day. Where they dump? Just dump lands. So I don't know what they have. I mean, we're dead next turn, probably regardless. If I don't block here, I can't draw. Well, I guess I can draw one card. No, I can't, because these are pain lands. Well, I guess I can draw, I just can't do anything after that. Oof. I I'm not going to block. Tom Ross. So they never have it, it's always on top of your deck. Okay, Deep Cavern Vat Vat is bad. Now I need to see help from the top of my deck. Yoldred, alas, probably doesn't do it. Let's see. I mean, they can't attack and, and use the Rafine action. Hmm.
I can put him to three graveyard trespasser. They have to do this? Let's see. Connives. It's not. Whenever you attack, target an attaching creature connives X. Okay, so they have to draw. In which case, he might not be dead. Don't remove me, bro. <laughs> I've never seen it where a fiend like auto gets you killed. But I don't know that they can attack. Unless they're able to remove their own Rafine, and if they could Top decks for the win. 6-0, and oh, we'll get to get to Diamond. Again, this is the least janky de deck Jank Bruise is likely to play, but it's still a brew. I've not seen anyone on this. My own janky idea. Uh, really, just to <laughs> slam good cards into deck with Omnixilis and convince people that Omnixilis is a fact. Good magic card. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to wrap it up there. Um, hop over to look at the deck. I, I did make uh, some changes to the original version of this, and I think it's worthy of considering... Land alternatives. We struggled with green. We've only got 12 sources there. Uh, I mean, we only have six needs for it. So I think that's probably fine. And there are some cards I think are worthy of considering here that we don't play. Um, maybe even in lieu of Okiba. I, I kind of like Okiba, but we could definitely be playing uh, Glissa in this deck at three. And I think that would be a fine choice. Uh, there's also the Praetor. I can't remember his name right now. Uh, Gix. Okay, yeah, there's some in this this sideboard. Um, I, I've only been playing this best of one, but Gix, I think, is a reasonable inclusion. Definitely a worthy sideboard inclusion. If you're the aggressor, it's just awesome. But the deck's been good. I, I, like This is probably the best win rate deck I've played in quite some time, and it's fun to play. So... I encourage you to give it a shot. If you like jank brews, you like playing stuff that is not I don't know, net decking, not, not one of the, the decks everyone else is playing, but it's also playing a lot of the same great cards, so you've got some action against it. Anyway, thanks for checking out the stream. If you like this sort of thing, click a like button or a subscribe or whatever they do on Twitch. Here, take care.